Hello there, I am Giant World with more Pokemon Emerald. In the last part, we took on more of the water route east of Dufort Town and made our way through the abandoned ship, got TM13 Ice Beam, brought a lot of trainers, got a lot of cash in Poke Dollars, if you know what I mean. And Shrooms as a front. Ah, uh, Pokenav. Okay, <laughs> Pokenav. Okay. Oh, Grotto, how are you? How do you do? This is Rose speaking. How are you Pokemon doing? I lost a match the other day. I need to try harder. See you again. So let's take on this battle right here. It's a swimmer. My liar of a boyfriend told me that I look great in a bikini. Are you saying you don't look great in a bikini? Because those pixels are mighty fine. No, I'm just kidding. That's gross. Okay. Keep it ready G, Steven. Keep it ready G. Here is a horsey. And we're going to use the Mega Drains on it. Drain its energy. You know, grass type are my favorite Pokemon type and kind of and like Pokemon overall because I like, you know, Gold of course is my favorite Pokemon. And Bulbasaur and Chikorita and all the grass starters and a lot of grass Pokemon. But the reason why is because I like, I always like the idea of you know, Pokemon moves or grass type moves like Giga Drain and Mega Drain Absorb. I always liked how it was a healing move too. You get half of what was it, uh, half the HP that was inflicted on the opponent, which is really nice. And um, when you're facing like, a bunch of Geodudes or you know Onyxes that are four time weak to grass type moves, especially um, you know like Diamond and Pearl and Platinum when Roark was the first uh, Rock type gym, and then. Um, also in Brock back in Generation 1 and Fire Red and Leaf Queen I guess you could say because Vine Whip and that Bulbasaur if you chose Bulbasaur you'd have Vine Whip by that time or you should have Vine Whip by that time then could just annihilate his team because four times super effective against the Geodude and then the Onyx that Brock had but enough talking about past experiences well again I, did, I had a past experience with Brock and I had Pokemon Leaf Queen but I had Charmander instead but you know, I'm talking about numerous playthroughs of me going through those games and having so much fun playing as choosing my starter as Bulbasaur and all that. All the grass starters are really nice. They're underrated and they can't, they're they like the odd guys out because they have so many different types that are, uh, you know, have, that are good against it. Like ice, flying, even bug, stuff like that, fire, all those types. But like it, it made me more strategic with my team to accommodate other Pokemon that could cover those weaknesses. And of course, I would never show, like, um, throw out my Venusaur against like an Alakazam, that new Psychic, you know, because Poison is part. Venusaur is half Poison type, and that's super effective for uh for uh, super effective moves like um Psychic are super effective, of course. It's stuff like that. You have to accommodate your team to where a point where you can cover your weaknesses and you can have like a you know, a mix attacker in there to cover different types and like usually I lead off in a, in a battle with my friends. I kind of lead off with a Pokemon I know that has like a move that August of goes first or a Pokemon that's like a mix attacker because it can cover different types. You know, you have to be strategic with that kind of stuff. But just just keep on shifting on your team and you'll find the right combination. That's what I did. I'm going to use Mega Punch or Mach Punch on the uh, Wingle and then uh, on the Magnetric, and I'm gonna use Flint on the Magnetric. I want to take care of the Magnetric, take it out to dinner, you know what I mean, and make it pay the bill. It's gonna use how well raise its attack, how nice. Uh, it doesn't bug me because it's fainted now. Uh oh, I shouldn't assume. Let's see, now it's fainted with a critical hit, man. Level 31 for Shroom is nice. And this is a Swallow. Oh, I'm gonna use Pickle because Swallow is four times uh, strong against Shrooms because it's grass and fighting. And then Blaine is also a fighting type. But what to do, what to do? We'll use. I'm gonna try Counter on the Swallow. And then I'm gonna try. I'm gonna use Overheat. No, not Bulk Up, not Bulk Up, not Bulk Up. Well, I was gonna faint anyway. Dang it! And I even called it. Okay, um, let's try a new move, Ice Beam. Haha, <laughs> interesting. So, will I get a counter? Okay, Shrooms will not get a counter. Well, it's gonna use counter, but it'll fail. Because it didn't get hit. 
means anything, you know? There's nothing to counter, basically. Choose Leech Seed on the Swallow and Ice Beam on the Swallow. Oh no, this is gonna hurt. Ah oh, man, ouch. Oh, fix boy, nice. Does that mean the Leech Seed won't hit then? Okay, it still hits, nice. I'll take it. This is working out pretty well. And the, the Ice Beam hits on the Swallow, it's gonna be super effective. And it's gonna take it down. That Swallow is a pain in the butt, actually. To say the least. And what Pokemon come in next? A main trick, okay. Oh no! Shroomus is down. Man, this battle is just beating me up, you know? Let's go with Knight, because it's still level 30. I wanna get to level 31 at least. Rather than this route or something like that. We're gonna use the Mud Slap on the Manetric and the Ice Beam on the Manetric. I'm kind of ignoring the Wingle, because the Wingle can't do much to either my Pokemon really. Especially my I Knight, if you use the Wing Attack, then I'll be quad resistant to it. My Knight will, and yeah. A Water Gun, I forgot about that. Never mind, I didn't cover my weaknesses there. Oh well. Okay, now, okay there it goes with the Water's Accuracy. And. We're gonna use Takedown on the Wingle, and we're gonna use Ice Beam on the Manetric. No, not a Hyper Potion. <sighs> Let's hope we can freeze this Manetric. Dang it, we can't. Dang it didn't work. Okay, this Water Gun's gonna really hurt me, so I have to take down this Wingle before I like, totally faints my Knight, and yeah, there we go, there goes the Wingle. Oh my gosh, this is a team of six Pokemon, three each. Are you kidding me? Okay, I'm gonna use. Uh, am I more afraid of the main or am I more afraid of the Machop in, in Night's Eyes? Well, I'm gonna try the takedown on the Machop, and we're gonna shift over to Water. Let's just Bubble Beam on the main Machop. So hopefully, this will take the Machop up before it takes out my Knight. No, 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 okay. Okay, that was not cool, man. That was not cool. Okay, I'm getting beat up in this battle. I'm getting so beat up. I don't want to send out Peter, because the Manatric is four times as good against, strong against it, because it's water and flying. So, let's go speedy. Dang, this battle's really taking him Oh my gosh, I forgot that the Machop, I may have known a fighting type move, and it just did. Let's take out. Um, take out the Machop with Bubble Beam. Just so it's out of the way. Here we go. Nice. Two, one more Pokemon. Okay, these are the last two pretty much. Okay. Got to use Strength on the Manetric. And it's gonna go down. Nice. 31 for Prime. Finish the strength and a. Let's just finish with a roll out. I guess, yeah. There we go. Nice. Nice as ice. That was a hard battle, actually. Well, I lost. Wow, wow. Thanks for the $19.12, guys. No, 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 no. I don't want to register my Pokemon. You're just going to interrupt me in mid sentence. <laughs> Here's a star piece. I think you can st sell it for $4,900 for the Pokemon. Uh, at least a thousand. One of those. Is there an I'm here? Is there an I'm here? If there's not, of course there isn't. Okay, I figure who's a friend? Shrooms may still be a friend, but Shrooms fainted, I think. Yeah. My team's pretty beat up. Let's keep Prime up to the front, though. Why'd I do that? I didn't mean to do that. Okay, let's take on the swimmer, dude. I like the surfing music, it's pretty nice. My dream is to swim the world's seven seas. What about climbing the world's seven summits? <laughs> ah, tentacruel. Um. 
I'm gonna spam Ice Beam, I guess. Ice Beam probably won't. I'm hoping to like freeze it or something. Ice Beam won't do that much. Okay. I think um, Tentacool is a big defensive wall, so try a roll combo. Oh, Beam's gonna not do that much because I'm an order type. Of course, if it's a critical hit, that's a different story. Okay, we can do this. Take down this Tentacool. Thank you for messing with your supersonic. I really appreciate it. Ah, uh, no, thank you for messing with my rollout. You see, I I have my yellow fruit, but first I'm gonna heal because I desperately need to heal. At least in my eyes. Um, which is a super potion on Prime, and then we're gonna kill Roots Confusion with the yellow fruit. Sounds like a plan of fun. I bet it does. So this will be around to 87, 79, so did 8 HP, so I can take another bubble beam bite. Of course I can, I mean, I did I did the math. Yep. Constrict. How nice. Okay, I need me go back to my bag and hit when I do that. So let's go back with the, um, let's go with the raw combo again. No, please, you gotta be kidding me. Stop confusing my prime. No, ruin my wallet combo. Okay, you know what? This isn't going anywhere, so I'm just gonna like switch out. I'm so high on my Pokemon so beat up. My whole team's beat up. Okay, hopefully that doesn't do too much. It does enough to frighten me. I should get that strength off that tentacruel. There we go, there goes the tentacruel. There we go, good thing that was your own Pokemon. I won't be able to swim the seven seas like this. Oh poor guy. Thanks for the two dollars and eight cents. Okay, is there any other trainers I have to battle? We're on Route 109 now. Hmm. I sense a double battle, but it could be a single battle. Let's keep Prime up front. Okay, this is a black ball dude, right? Oh, it's a bird keeper, my bad. Okay, a Skarmory, huh? Well, I don't want my fire type with anymore. Uh, it's fainted at least. And let's try an ice beam. Maybe that'll be neutrally effective. It's neutrally effective. It's, it's, it's resist by steel, but it's super effective because it's flying, so it's, it's neutral. You're gonna play like that, what am I accuracy? And it worked. Thanks. I'm gonna use a bubble beam, beam on you. You're gonna keep on lowering my accuracy, thanks. I really appreciate it. Okay, come on. It's just one more bubble beam. It's gonna raise its speed, but hopefully at the end of this turn it won't matter because you'll be fainted. Let's see, and it hits, it should faint it, let's see. And it faints it. Nice. Another Skarmory. Are you kidding me? As if the first one wasn't bad enough. I have a headache right now. Okay, I honestly have a headache right now and I can't deal with the Skarmory business. Hopefully, even though my accuracy is lowered again, I can, you know, hit it. There we go. Way to believe in myself, man. Good job, Steven. And it slipped by that much. Okay, fine. Okay, we're gonna faint it with a water gun and it misses. Okay. It's gonna raise its speed, which shouldn't matter if I land a water gun on it, because it'll be fainted then. It should be fainted. Okay, you're gonna want my accuracy again in one state. You gotta make it from like 70 to 69. I don't know. But anyway, you're fainted. Goodbye. Level 32, nice. I'm cool even in defeat, hey. Thanks for the eight dollars. I guess you're cool. We real cool, we can skip school, we really we really look late. That was, that was actually a poem we um read in my English class. So you know. And we're gonna go to Pelipper. But I'm gonna heal Pelipper and I'm gonna switch that with speed. Okay. I'm gonna heal Pelipper. I'm gonna use a super potion on it, just to be safe. 
we go. That's awesome. And this should be a fisherman dude. If you battle, yep, it's your battle. Okay. Ah, oh, this dude's gonna catch himself a big one. You can't catch yourself a big one if you're battling me. Unless you can manage to keep control of your rod too. If you did catch a big one, if a big one latches onto your rod. Ay ay ay. Okay, so many shockwave on this Wailu. This game's whirlpool shouldn't do too much on me. There we go, not that much. I was trapped in the vortex out of it. There goes the shockwave, man. Ah, oh, so close to fainting it. I'm gonna get hurt by the whirlpool. I'm gonna use this, end this with a surf, I guess. The water gun shouldn't do too much. Nope, only 5 HP. I go for the surf, it should find the whale moon. There we go. Tentacool, huh? Well, I'll keep in. Okay. Well, if this tentacle has sand attack like the last one, then I should be good because Shockwave never misses. And of course, Supersonic Hit. Nice. I don't like it, man. Oh my gosh. This tentacle is just giving me an annoyance. And I don't like that. I get really ticked when it gets to that point where you don't like it anymore. Where you just want to throw your Game Boy out the window. Not really, but you know, because Game Boys, when I was playing this game as a cartridge, at least my Ruby version, I took very good care of my Game Boy. Because I know it was expensive at the time. Like, when I was playing my first Game Boy, and had my first Game Boy Advance SP, I think the Game Boy Advance SP was still around $50, but I remember when it came out, it was like $19.99, or $99.99, basically $100, it's around there, around launch. But, you know, around the launch time, where it was launched as a handheld, but I could be wrong with that, I think it was either $100 or less. Because I remember one on sale for $79.99 after a while, so it's only $80. But now you can get one for like 20 bucks off like... Well, not off Amazon, because they like overpriced their stuff. But like, I mean, you can probably bet for one and win on eBay or something. I don't know, if you go to like Slackers or something, get one for like, maybe like $30 or something. I know the GameCube is only $30 right now, too. That, but it might have been down lower, too, because, you know, the GameCube's getting that way in age, you know, it's getting old, but we still all love the games and stuff, so, that's nice. Okay, Fishman Carter was defeated, nice, okay, thanks for the $10, man, I really appreciate it. And we're gonna go surfing again, hopefully that was like the last bit of trainers, but I think there's like one more spot of trainers, there's a stealth battle, of course, as I say that, ay ay ay. I'm gonna have to heal up again. I hate to use my healing items, but I just have to. So I like heal my Pokemon and make sure they're healthy. Okay. That should be good. In fact, just to be safe, I'll use a potion on um, Speedy. There we go, nice. Let's just take on this double battle. Another young couple, huh? Something heating up all over her horns. Sorry, I skipped your dialogue. I just want to get through this route. <laughs> Honestly, at this point, you know. Okay, Death Stock's gonna beautify. So, bug and flying and bug and poison, I think. We're gonna use the. Would you surf? And. Strength on the Death Stock's. Because I think the Death Stock's will be more annoying. But then again, the beautify might no sleep out or something. Or Mega Drain, you know that too. Not the side beam. Use that surf attack. There we go. Nice. They're about half for the beautify. Nice. And then you shockwave on that beautify and a salad on the beautify. There we go. Nice. That wasn't too hard. Pretty good level 32. No, it's my fault. No, it's your fault. No, I'm just kidding. Thanks for the $17.28, guys. I think there's one more patch of trainers on this route. Just one more. Okay. 
This is a long way out. Um, we go out there. Oh, here's an item. PP up. Haha, ha. get your guys left out. Get your guys' lefts out now. Haha, ha. PP up. <laughs> oh, look, a trainer. Are you properly protected against the sun? Well, my guy, my character doesn't get a sunburn, but like, I remember in the character in uh, Brandon, I guess you could say, and we've been Sapphire, he was like paler than in this Brandon. Because this Brandon seems a lot tanner for some reason. You can tell in the skin tone. I don't know. Strength attack. There we go, nice. Almost, okay, three my, my three remaining Pokemon are all level 32 now. Let's go with the Wingo, I guess. And I'll just another strength if I have enough PP for it. There we go. Mr. Lingle. Okay, Claudine, okay. And again, we'll use strength. There we go. Thanks, Swimmer Alice. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Thanks for the dollar ninety two cents. I really appreciate it. I could give me a soda at the vending machine if I wanted, but I don't drink soda. I don't, I'm, honestly, me in real life, I don't drink soda because I gave it up, you know. It was really hard for me to give up root beer though, because root beer is my favorite soda. But I've heard that I've heard that root beer is actually the soda that uh, that dissolves your teeth the fastest, which really isn't good in hindsight. But you know, and now I drink like Hawaiian Punch and Powerade. I don't really drink Gatorade because Matt Alt uh, Matt. I was about to say Ultimate Blue One. Matt Pisslord, um, um, he's also known as Pisslord, he told me that Gatorade's worse than soda, but I drink Powerade, so hopefully it's a little bit different, you know. But I know Gatorade is kind of full of sugar too. But you know. Sport, uh, athletes drink Gatorade and Powerade, you know. Because uh, I think Gatorade is supposed to g give you back the energy and the sweat that you sweat out, like the, 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 um, the salt, kinda, that you need for sweating. So I guess that's cool, I guess. I don't know exactly how that works. I just see in the commercials how like someone's like sweating Gatorade. And they're like, Gatorade! <laughs> Drink it, man. It's good for you. Or something like that. Not really necessarily those words, but... You see them just sweating Gatorade, so... What can you assume? There goes that battle. That it was because I had an inner tube. No, you just lost because I was better than you. No, I'm just kidding. This person battles you, I think, too. Hi, big trainer, will you battle with me? Sure. Why not? I battled the tens of thousand trainers that I've seen on this route. Now, that's a hyperbole. An exaggeration, guys. Don't worry about that. There wasn't really 10,000 trainers on this route. I mean, I'm just saying that. Okay, I'm gonna strength on this Meryl. And faints it nice. There goes two big one. You, oh, well, you're strong. Thanks for the dollar forty cents. Forty cents. Dollar four cents. My bad. A lot of kids can dart away so quickly, around so quickly. Wait, you don't even dare take your eyes off them for an instant. It's very t t taxi. Mine are with my Pokemon, so they shouldn't be should be okay. But yeah, you're just trapped on this island for the rest of the game. I know how that feels. Well, I don't because I can actually move around in this game. You're, the trainers are just waiting a million days, not really a million days, but a million seconds or something, for me to come along and battle with them. And after they're done battling with them, they'll either put me in the fucking app or just talk to me and say, bye bye, I'll never see you again. And let's just, you know, we're on the beach again of Slayport. So there we go. We are going to heal up because it's very well needed. So I'll do that right now. Okay, what I did in the Pokemon Center was actually just move Pokemon around. I want to put Knight up front and Blaine up front in the second slot, then Shrooms, then Speedy, then Peter, then Blaine, uh, then Prime. Just in the order I want to train them, I guess, or have them have battle time and whatnot. So we're going to go to the Pokemon 2, and we're going to buy some items, because we're kind of low on items, I guess. We're just going to sell some items. Let's sell the... Um, let's sell the Iron. Let's sell the Protein. Let's sell the star piece. You have forty nine hundred dollars. Yeah. Let's sell the PP up. Cause I won't be using this items in the walkthrough, honestly. So you know. Okay, so let's buy. How many Pokeballs do we have? We have five. Okay. Um. Good 
Well, so we're at 14. We'll buy like maybe like 10 just so I can get premium ball too. A premium ball is just like Pokeball but bonus, you know. I don't know. I, I don't want to explain the description of a premium ball because it's basically just like a Pokeball. You just, the only difference is to get it, you have to buy 10 Pokeballs and I'm right at one time. And you get it one per 10 Pokeballs you buy at one time. It's really nothing else. I mean, like, it looks kind of cool, but kind of not, because, you know, the Pokeball, regular Pokeball is like red and, blue and white and all that, just like that, you know, awesome. Uh, let's see for potions, let's buy, let's buy like nine. Potions, let's buy, let's buy like six to make it 13 as well, I guess. Let's see, 13 and 13, right? 12. Okay, let's buy one more potion to make it, make it match up with a potions account. Antidotes, uh, we'll be fine with 15 apparently. Paralysis is good. Escape ropes, we have 6. Wow. Pills, let's buy like 10. Yeah, okay, there we go. Nice. Oh, I didn't make it back in. Jeez. Now let's head back to Marvel. What do you guys say? I like it. Let's go back. Let's just cycle back because it's faster. I the mark back still. Can't control this thing at all. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at this mock bike stuff. Okay, I'm gonna get off my bike now. Okay. While we're here in Marvel, oh, here's Watson. Well, I should save that for the next part. So let's spend them my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide part. The next part, we'll take it to Watson who's outside the gym for some odd reason. And... Then we'll hopefully make it to the next route. Possibly, I don't know. And we're also gonna switch our bikes from Mac. We're gonna go from a Mac bike to an Aqua bike. Cause I wanna switch out now, I guess, cause it's a good time, I think, as far as I know. So this is Majonko again. I like the virtual game again. Goodbye, and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide.